A memory leak is a programming language term used when a program holds on to memory that it doesn't intend to use anymore. Just like a water leak wastes water, a memory leak wastes memory. A memory leak can slow down a program as it continues to request more and more system resources and over time it can lead to an out of memory error causing the program to crash. To demonstrate a memory leak, consider a simple function that allocates a lot of memory. It creates an array of 2500 items where each item is a heavy item which itself is an array of 100,000 items filled with the bank emoji. Allocating memory by itself is not going to be a memory leak, but holding on to a value after you are done with it is a memory leak. For example, if all that we cared about was to read the length of the result, after we are done with that reading, we should get rid of the result as we no longer need that value anymore. If we don't do that and just keep creating more variables for more allocations and not getting rid of those variables, then we will eventually run out of memory. Let's demonstrate that by executing this code. You can see that we can allocate memory and we can read the length of the results. However, now you can see that the JavaScript runtime is struggling and in fact, it will exit with an out of memory error. If we scroll up a bit, you can see the error that we crashed with. It is JavaScript heap out of memory. As we saw in our garbage collection tutorial, JavaScript manages memory for us. So fixing a memory leak is a simple matter of letting go of resources that you no longer intend to use. For example, scoping your variables only to functions where you use them or even setting a variable to null when you are done with its value. In this simple example, as soon as we assign result to a different value, the previous value is available for garbage collection. So we can allocate as much memory as we want and store that into different results and once we are done reading its length, we can reuse that variable for something else. And now if we execute this code, even though it is allocating a lot more memory than it was before, all that memory that we do not use anymore can be garbage collected and the program runs to completion successfully. It can be argued that the key reason for the success of JavaScript is its support for closures, but sadly it's also the number one reason for a memory leak in JavaScript. This is because functions can have implicit strong references to variables outside of their scope, which prevents their garbage collection. Here's an example of a simple function that takes a value and then wants to keep a strong reference to it because it intends to use it in a local function. We return the getLength function from our closure and as long as this getLength function is in scope, the original value is also going to stay in scope. So we invoke closure with some memory allocated for the value and as long as the return function fn1 is going to be in scope, the original value is going to be in scope and we can see that because we can use fn1 to read the length of the original value. So every single time we invoke the closure function with a value, the return function is going to hold on to that value and if we do it a few too many times and execute this code, it will eventually run out of memory and the program will crash with an out of memory error. Now, of course, our particular functions are holding on to very big values, but I wanted to make clear the fact that a function can increase the lifetime of a value. So essentially, until we get rid of the function, that value is going to stay around in memory. The solution for values being held by closures is the same as any other memory leak. You need to think about which values you don't need anymore, for example, you can discard the function or discard the references to the data within the function. As an example, instead of keeping a reference to the value, what we could do is we could note down the length of the value by itself and then within the function that we are returning, we only reference a length and there are no more references to value once this particular function returns. So now if you run this code again, even though we are holding on to the function get length, it is not referencing value, it's referencing a simple number and therefore the value itself can be garbage collected and our program executes without any issues. We've seen that functions hold on to memory for external variables they reference due to closures, but it will not make your program crash as long as you don't store too many functions. But we can end up in this silly situation by mistake when we are adding event listeners on some interaction but not removing the event listeners that are no longer relevant. Consider the simple example of a Photoshop style application. When the user clicks on the paint tool, we want to add an event listener that handles all cursor moves. If we add an event listener every single time the user clicks on the paint tool, then we will end up with lots of event listeners, each with their own memory preventing garbage collection. So the memory consumption of our application will continue to go up and up, and if we have enough event listeners referencing enough values, then our program will eventually run out of memory and crash. 
The solution to this problem is pretty simple. Whenever we are passing around functions for event handlers, we want to make sure that we unsubscribe that if it is no longer relevant. This particular add event listener gives us back a function which we can use to unsubscribe. So every single time we make a new subscription, we make sure if you already have a subscription present, we remove that using remove event listener. This will ensure that add event listener is not referencing functions that it no longer needs and they can be garbage collected. And now if you run this code again, every single time a new subscription is added, the previous subscription is removed, which means that the previous function can be garbage collected and we don't have a memory leak in our code anymore. Here is a simple takeaway from this tutorial. Don't hold on to references to data or functions which you no longer need. This allows the garbage collector to jump in from time to time to clear up any unused resources and this will keep your JavaScript programs snappy and efficient and your users happy. As always, thank you for joining me and I will see you in the next one.